The city of Marietta is a proud supporter of Curiosity Quest and the effort to keep the environment sustainable for generations to come. Curious? <laughs> Me too. Hi there, I'm Joel Green and welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green, the show that continues to explore what you, the viewer, are curious about. Well, today our quest letter came to us from Evelyn in Georgia. And Evelyn wrote, Dear Joel, I've always been curious how they make big playground equipment. Can you show me? Well, Evelyn, yes, we can. We've traveled up here to Olympia, Washington, at a place that went green a long time ago known as Big Toys, and we're going to find out how they make big playground equipment. So let's get started on today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. All right, let's fire this bad boy up. Woo! Woohoo! All right. Whoa, that was fun. All right, so I'm here with the owner of Big Toys, Tim. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for letting me drive that. That hey, was pretty no. cool. Anytime. Cool. So you're going to make me work in the factory now, too, aren't you? I'm not paying you for that. <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit about Big Toys. We've been building great playgrounds for about 40 years all over the world, everywhere from Asia to Europe, all over North America. We do about a thousand playgrounds a year. Playgrounds, do you make them just for small, you know, five and under? What, what's yeah. the ages? All, all the way from six month old babies all the way up past 12 years old. So okay. daycares, schools, parks, all that kind of stuff. And, and we're here because you do this in a green way, right? You've been green since day one. Yeah, yeah, we used to use uh, byproducts from the plywood industry for all our wood poles uh, in the very beginning, back in the early 70s. Uh, now we do stuff out of either 100% sustainable wood or 100% recycled plastic and steel. Wow, and we're gonna to get to see this process today here, right? Yeah, we do everything from getting ideas from kids, making designs, making the parts, and shipping them out. How do you make it? How does it start? With ideas from kids. With ideas from kids. Absolutely. So let's hear some of your ideas. If you can design your dream playground, what would it have? It would have a soccer field, um, swings, slides, all that good stuff. I think my playground would be a lot of pink. Definitely a swing and a big slide. The spinny slide though, not just a regular slide, a spinny one. Not the tunnel kind, because those ones are kind of scary. One of the spinny things where you like sit down and then you run around on, sitting down on it. And so it spins like a couple of those. And it wouldn't have like um, wood chip, wood chuck, or anything on the ground. It would have the um, padding. Whoa. Whoa! Check that out. Look at these things. These are cool. Is it one like this at your school? Whoa. Wow, Tim, these are cool. Very cool. Whoa, look at this. Wow. Hi, I'm Joel. Sonia. Sonia, nice to meet you. Wow. So what's going on here? Well, Sonia builds all of our scale models for us, and uh, about half of the playgrounds we build are custom. They're brand new, one-off designs. So we try to figure out the best way that we can show kids and parents what the playground's going to look like when it's all done. Can I so, touch these? Of okay. I, I'm just kind of, am I going to ruin this here? No, I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> Is it breakable? Um, <laughs> only if you stomp on it. Only if I stomp on it. Wow. So you'll take the, the suggestions that were given to you by kids and parents and, and, and put this together like this, huh? Yeah, they'll give us ideas about what kind of experiences they want to have, what kind of things they think would be fun, what kind of cool spaces they think they would like to maybe hang out with their friends. And, and we'll do a, an overhead site plan and give that to Sonia and then she'll make that site plan into a, a real little playground. Oh, okay. And right now she's building this playground here with these components. 
And when she's all done, we'll send that to the school or the park, and they'll have a meeting and show that to all the kids and the parents, and they can say, wow, that's what it's going to look like. This is the main look of it? Exactly. That's a 3D view in color. And this is the overhead? Yep. Wow. All right. And these are based on the suggestions you got back? Absolutely. Every single one is. Wow. All right. So when you say you'll send the school, you're referring, you'll send this model? Exactly. To the playground of the school? Yeah, we double box <laughs> it and pack it in peanuts and they get it out and it's, uh, and kids will take their fingers and walk on it like they would imagine <laughs> themselves playing. Wow. So I always wonder how, how the kids or somebody came up with designs like this or, or crawling up, you know, crawling up these things. We talk to kids all the time. Every yeah. time we're out on a playground and kids are there, we're asking them what they think and, and we get crazy ideas. We make it safe and fun and uh, that's where they come from. Now what Excuse me, son. Here, what, what in the world is this? <laughs> that, that's a really cool thing. It's like a big seesaw. So the way this works is, this is a scale model of it. Is this rocks back and forth on that pipe, so wow. kids can be seesawing, and at the same time, other kids can be hanging from these hand grips and swinging <laughs> while other kids are seesawing. That sounds cool. It's really cool. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Elm Park, located in Massachusetts was created in 1854 and was the very first public park in the U.S. So what are some of the, like, when they get this, I know I can't be the only one that looks at this and say, wow, that is really cool. What are some of the, what's some of the feedback you get? Uh, one feedback that we get quite a bit is that it's really useful for fundraising. A lot of times a school uh. will need to have an auction or a bake sale or something to raise money to build their playground. And if they can have that right out in the front, everyone in the town can see what their money's going to go for. All right. So what about the feedback you get from, oh, I love that you did this, what I thought, you know, that was my idea. Or I love that you left this high tower right here. It's my idea. What, what, what about that feedback? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because, you know, the, the, our salespeople will meet with the kids and the customers and, and the parents and get ideas, and then they'll be able to see exactly what they talked about. Wow, cool. All right, so once you have it in this format, they give it back to you, the feedback saying, I like this, change this, add on a whole new structure over here. Yep. We're good to go. What do you do from there? Then we start processing the order. We start designing it on a computer. Mm -hmm. So we do uh, some of the drawings that you showed uh, earlier. We'll do those kind of drawings. Mm -hmm. And we'll make a count of all of the components. And we'll put that in our computer system and start manufacturing parts. Well, wow. how many, just curious, how many, how many parts are in something like that? Hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah. Wow. Okay. And everything's designed so volunteer groups can put it together. So a playground like that, a group of parents could install it over a weekend. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that who typically installs these? Uh, probably half the time. Half the time a contractor does it, and the other half of the time moms and dads do it. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. The world's highest swing is set on a 700-foot high viewing platform in China. All right, so we've made our model. And now we put it on the computer? Yep. All right. Yeah, what Jennifer's doing here is taking the actual site that the customer has in 2D, so from overhead, and she's laying the playground in to make sure that it has all the proper safety setbacks, so it's not too close to a fence or the building or anything like that. She'll also do a three-dimensional version of it so we can see what it's going to look like oh, wow. uh, in 3D rather than just from the overhead view. Yeah, oh, she can yeah, rotate it and see it from different angles. Oh, very cool. Does the customer ever actually see this part of it? They do, yeah, because we'll print layout drawings for the customer that help with the installation of it. So I mentioned before volunteer groups will build them. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll print multiple views like this so that the volunteer group can see up close in detail where every park goes. We can take a photograph of an existing park or a school like the one you see here, mm -hmm. and then we can put our playground equipment in there so that the kids and the parents uh, can see exactly what the playground's going to look like when it's all done. So that was the before, and this is the... This is the 2B. The it's two, not the, the after two, yet. The yeah. 2B, all right. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty neat. And so obviously when somebody sees that, they're like, well, we have this one little swing right here, and then whoa, we can make this. So once it's done here, then do we start making them? Then we start making them, yeah. All right, so Want to go do that? Let's go get the building. Okay. Let's go build. Come on. How are playgrounds made? Metal, but we can use recyclable metal too. Different type of objects, different sizes and shapes, and different fun. Now they make it out of more um, 
kid-friendly materials, plastics that are made from recycled materials. Um, by construction bulldozers. Equipment. Recycled materials. All right, so go ahead. Tell everyone, Tim, what are we holding? Recycled plastic milk jugs. Is that incredible? That's pretty cool. That is very cool. So you're making play structures out of milk jugs that we used. Yep. All of our decks, enclosures, roofs, stairs. <laughs> From milk jugs. Yep. That we recycled. You see all that recycling? That was good, right? Yep. Good thing. All right, so how many recycled milk jugs? I don't know if you know the answer to this. I'm going to get, get you off guard <clears> here. How many recycled milk jugs can go into one play structure? A medium-sized play structure is about 20,000. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Is that like the one that we were building earlier? Yeah, similar to that. Yeah, for oh sure. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of milk for me to drink. Oh, my goodness. Like in a year, how, how many milk jugs do you think you'll end up using in this material? Well, last year we used a million and a half milk jugs. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of garbage to keep out of landfills. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, look at that. So, we're, it's good, this whole recycling thing we're doing. I think so. If you didn't use milk jugs, what would you be using instead? Yeah, lumber or steel. Now, you still use lumber and steel in the process. We do. But a lot of it's been replaced with the milk jugs, right? We've replaced as much as we can with this material. Wow, we're just reusing the stuff that we used a long time ago. This is so yeah. cool. All right. I've been around this before, so I know it's really sturdy. I know there's no chance in the world I'm going to be able to break it or bend it, mm -hmm. especially this big, thick piece right here. Um, talk about how safe it is and how strong this is. Well, all, all of the load components, so all of the sides of the platforms, mm -hmm. we use special material that has reinforcements in it so okay. that it never sags on a hot day or it won't bow if a bunch of kids get on it and jump at one time. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely strong material. I notice it looks like there's a lot of, a, it's not really smooth. Why isn't it smooth? So we intentionally order it with a pattern on it with a bit of a rough surface kind of uh, so that when it's damp or moist, it won't be slippery when kids play on it. Oh, so you do this on purpose. We do it on purpose, yeah. <laughs> I thought, well, we were going to have to smooth it out or something. No, 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 it's like that on purpose. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Did you know hopscotch was initially designed as a training regiment for Roman foot soldiers? All right, so we are going to be making some big toys. But I'll let you start us off. Okay. Wow. All of the scrap ends that we make all get sent back to the factory and turned into brand new material. So we don't have any waste at all. You okay. want to cut a board? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Okay. Slide so it down. Are we making a, what is this, a deck? The top of a this deck? This is actually a baseboard for a climbing net. A baseboard so, for a climbing net. Okay. Put hand here and. All right. Just down like this. Pull the pull the trigger. Okay. Yeah. See, I, I know how you feel now. How, the good feeling you have that kids are going to be playing on what you hand build right here because of what they recycle. Yeah. This is awesome. All right. So we've done this part. What do we do now? Next step is drilling holes. All right. How long does it take to build a play structure? Three months. I would say it takes a very long time. Almost like building a mall. Five months. Probably two years. <laughs> I think about either six months to a year. So how long will it take to build a playground set? Now that's, that's tough to say because it's a bunch of different pieces done by a bunch of different people. Yeah. Generally, we work this week on all the playgrounds that are going to go out next week. Oh, okay. So, and we ship about a thousand playgrounds a year. Oh, wow. So, so you figure it sounds like about a week to make a, a, a normal set, is that correct? Yeah, but we do a bunch of them at the same time. You know, we might set up and do, these are boards for the end of a platform. Uh -huh. We might do all of them uh, for all of next week's orders at once. Ah, Rather than build a playground, build the next one, build the next one. Now, how does the, why isn't the board moving? <laughs> because it's pulled down to that table with a vacuum. Ah. So there's a really strong vacuum holding all those boards in place. So you don't want them to move at all because those holes have to be in exactly those, those locations. Right. One of the reasons that we got this machine is we have over 400 different dimensional parts like this that have different drilling patterns, different sizes. And so 
to have guys with tape measures and pencils marking where holes should be would be impossible. Right, right. So this machine knows the locations of all the holes on all of our parts. Right. So we put in the part number for this part, and that machine knows where to go and what holes to drill. Oh, here's the vacuum you were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I, woo. Oh, man, it got quiet all of a sudden. Stack the parts. We made the holes. Now let's go route some boards. Where's the, oh, right here. Yep. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Hopscotch was voted the best playground game ever with tag rating second and jump rope rating third. Now technically, this is called recycled plastic lumber, but here at Bid Toys, they like to call it wood. You know, plastic wood. All right, let's turn on the router bits. Oh man, they're mean. Okay. Okay, now hit the green button. Hit the green button. Are you sure? Or I'm, should I'm, I confer I'm, with them over there? I'm Forget sure. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, what's, I, I, I keep seeing these uh, hoses right here. Don't we need to, you know, brush them off? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Don't we do that to the boards? No, nope, they're clean. They're, they're clean, fine. huh? Yeah. All right. So, you sure about that? <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. All right. So, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. So, now they're done and ready to be put in the set? Assembled. Let's Assembled. go look at that. All right. Let's go. What is your favorite piece on the playground? Ah, uh, slides. It's just fun. I like the slides going up and down. Not up. You're not supposed to go up the slide. Only down the slide. You can't crawl up it. You get people get hurt that way. Um, but I like the bumpy slides and the twisty slides are my favorite. Um, swings. Um, I I really like the um, monkey bars and the swings. Well, probably the soccer field. My favorite piece on a playground has to be that thing that. Um, the twirly thing where you sit on it and then you run around and make it spin around, that's my favorite thing. You know, we just can't hit print on the computer and have the big toys built. Somebody's got to build them. And today, that somebody is me. I'll, I'll take that. It, you'll take that. I mean, I, get, you're gonna do all this stuff. We're fine. We're, we're fine. Cause you got all these screws right here. I can. Someone else will take care of it. I just really quick. It'd be, no. Maybe we're really, good. I, I, I was, but I, I, I did such a good job over there. You see how fast I was? All right. So we have all these completed ones right here that you and I assembled real quick, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so how many, uh, how many milk jugs do we have here again? 1,015. 1,015 milk jugs just in this section right here. Want to try and pick it up? Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, whoa! Pretty heavy. Whoa. That's without milking them. Wow. So in a wind, that's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere under any circumstances. So we've made platforms out of the recycled milk jugs, and you have other uses for the milk jugs as well. You'll make other pieces? Yeah, we'll make enclosures, we'll make roofs, stairs, things okay. like that. And what other material, what other recycled material will you use on your outdoor play structures? Well, for the, for the uprights, we use recycled steel. We use six-inch galvanized steel that's made from crushed cars and crushed appliances. Wow. Want to go look at that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. The first man-made plastic was created by Alexander Parks. It was an organic material derived from cellulose that, once heated, could be molded and retained its shape when it cooled. All right, Tim, these are made from recycled material? Yep, yep, they're made from, it's called reclaimed scrap metal. Mm -hmm. It's the primary raw material for this, and it comes from crushed cars, crushed washers, dryers, things like that. Wow. Yeah. What, can, what about those metal cans uh, in your uh, cabinets? 
Oh, yeah, anything that isn't aluminum. I mean, any kind of regular steel that gets recycled goes into this kind of material. And so you get these huge pipes right here. Now, these are the, what, the base pipes? What are these yeah. for? Yeah, these are the uprights on the playground mm -hmm. that hold up all the platforms we made earlier and holds up slides and all of that. Um, this is kind of cool. I see, well, to, to make your milk jugs, you get rid of all the milk right here on, on this thing, right? Yeah, that'd be nice, but it's different than that. What is it's that? A, it's a lubricant to keep the drill bit from going uh, dull. Oh. So it keeps it sharp as it goes in the steel. What about the other metal that are on these uh, big toys? Oh, we have bent metal and welded metal, things for like uh, handrails on stairs, mm -hmm. bars to hang from. We do all of that as well. Ooh, monkey bars? Monkey bars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can check out monkey bars. <laughs> I found the monkey bars. You are trying to hide them from me, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. What does CNC stand for? A news channel. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that? I don't know. Kooky cookies Newtons. C N C stands for Oh. It has to do with playgrounds. I'm trying to think of something that goes, but color um not I don't know. Color not I don't know. CNC. <laughs> What's this called? It's a CNC pipe bender. A th What's a CNC pipe bender? Computer numeric controlled. So every single one, we program it in, and every single one is made exactly the same way. Oh my goodness. All right, on the playground structures, do you bend all the metal that's on there? Uh, almost all of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a few pieces that are more too complicated for this machine. Uh, but nearly all of the parts on the playground that are bent and curved will do on this machine. That's amazing because when you look at some of the play structures, there are a lot of bends and turns and pieces. So Joe's busy. What is powder coating? Is it like coating that you put on to paper to make sure something stays? Powder coating is the stuff you put on your cookies. <laughs> Powder coating is something that you would put on a playground. Um, that you put it on your body to make you get smoother. Powder coating is something that makes you slide on the slide even faster. You're not supposed to put it on like baby powder, <laughs> but don't put it on, boys and girls. It's not a good idea. At this point, is the metal complete? The last step is to paint it. And we send it over to a company that does what's called powder coating. It's an electrical type of painting that makes it very, very hard to get the paint off, to scratch it. Oh, really? So that's the last step we do, uh, is to paint the metal so that it adds color to the playground. Okay, and not, not too much color like you said though, right? No, we like it to be tasteful. So uh, the structural system, so the uprights and the decks, those are neutral, mm -hmm. and the play events have the color on them. Okay, well, I, I see some of the, like, the swings. It, is the swing made out of anything recycled at this point that you're aware of? It's made out of galvanized steel, which most steel has recycled content in it, so the wood, if part of it is recycled, yes. Okay, I got one for you. What about all the wood I see on these things? What about all that wood? Well, we do two different kinds of playgrounds. We do the recycled steel and plastic, and we do wood. Mm -hmm. And all of the wood we use is comes from certified sustainable forests. All right. Uh, oh, what about all the, the wood chips on the bottom? Those are recycled as well. Um, what about the glass? You see those big old bubble pieces, you know, the way you can put your head out, go, you know, to everybody. What about that? That isn't recycled. Ah, gotcha. This is pretty cool that these big toys, <laughs> I know what you call big toys now, are green. Yep. I mean, the process is pretty cool. We recycle, then you make these cool products. Yep. All the way from hearing a kid's idea, to building a scale model, to putting it on the computer, to coming out here and drilling pipe and cutting boards and drilling holes in boards, putting it in the box, and then moms and dads put it together and then kids get to have all the fun. So the only thing we're missing in this whole process is actually having some fun on these big toys. You wanna go play? I do wanna go play.
Oh, <laughs> it's starting to rain again. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're gonna have to play uh, another day. Yeah. Tim, thank you. Oh. Close that door. It's windy too. Tim, thank you very much yeah. for showing us how you do this. Well, thanks really for coming here. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> I want to thank Tim, Matt, and everyone out here at Big Toys for teaching us how they make these huge play structures, and they do it in an environmentally friendly way. And I especially want to thank you, Evelyn, for sending us on today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. Now, if there's something that you're curious about, let us hear from you. Go to kvcr.org, click on the Curiosity Quest link, and simply tell me what you're curious about. And it could be your thoughts that sends us on our next green adventure. Now remember, this is our planet. It's our responsibility to take care of it. So I'm curious, have you gone green? I'm Joel Green. I'll see you next time. Woo! <laughs> Al, Matt, hey, I need some help real quick. Al, can you come over and help me? Yeah. Why? I guess, We're not gonna be able to hold that. No, no, just come on over here. Come on, come on. Go, go with me on this one. There we go. There we go. All right, you gotta, you gotta hold it like up, like that. Like that, you got it? Ready? Yeah. Look at Matt, look at that. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, that's it. Oh. <laughs> you all right there? Well, am I not that heavy?